Hey there lads and ladies and welcome to another episode of PSVR News. On today's episode we have got yet even more follow up with the whole Sony PlayStation 5 PSVR what is going on there kind of a thing. We've got some news about PlayStation's Sony London studio and we've got a little bit of No Man's Sky news as well and a little sprinkle of Alvo on top of that as well. Before we get started on that though, maybe you could just hit that old like button or the subscribe button, you know, either one of those would be grand. Let's just jump right into it, shall we? So first things first, let's talk about the PlayStation, Sony, PlayStation 5, PSVR and now Ubisoft have entered the mix in this whole confusing situation. It's really kind of getting out of hand at this stage. A month ago, two months ago, Sony put out a list of backwards compatible games, or rather I should say, Sony put out a list of games that were not backward compatible. I think there was 10 games in the list. Out of those 10 games, I think Robinson The Journey was the only virtual reality game that wasn't supported. And I think most of us were like, okay, that's cool, you know? Not too bad, we, we can sacrifice Robinson if everything else is gonna work. And we were kind of just operating on the impression that every other game would work. So then last, or like a few days ago, last week, I think it was Friday, Ubisoft put out their own little statement saying, hey, by the way, these are our games that won't run on the PS5. And they included like a bunch of those Assassin's Creed Chronicle games, which aren't a big deal, whatever. They're kind of like the mobile version of Assassin's Creed. They're not the proper mainline entry games. Although there was Assassin's Creed Syndicate included on that list, which is a pretty high profile game not to be included. But importantly to this channel, PlayStation Virtual Reality, being what this channel focuses on. Werewolves Within and Star Trek Bridge Crew, both of those were on that list as games that would not be running on the PS5. So that kind of opened up the door to like a million more questions. Is this the beginning? Are we going to see EA create their own list next? You know, Rockstar Games, all these other publishers, studios, whatever. Is it much more than what Sony kind of let on with that 10 game list? And the answer is we don't know because not too long after that list went up, Ubisoft came along and said, you know what, some of this information might not have been correct and they took it down. So now we're kind of left in limbo. We don't know if Werewolves Within or Star Trek Bridge Crew will run on a PS5. According to Sony's initial announcement, they should. According to Ubisoft, they won't. So what's going on? Is it the case that Ubisoft did their own testing and maybe they didn't have their dev kit up to the latest firmware or whatever and then Sony said, hey, update your firmware and you know, Werewolves and Star Trek and Assassin's Creed Syndicate, whatever. They'll all run if you do that, so then Ubisoft will be like, okay, we'll take it down. Or is it a case of Sony being like, hey, we're not ready for people to know this information yet, this is embargoed, we want to hide this bad news or whatever. So that's definitely very concerning. And this article here on Upload Viewer by Jamie Felton kind of just goes over the whole thing. Oh, I left out Space Junkies. Space Junkies was also on that list that Ubisoft put out of games that wouldn't be included. Although according to Jamie Feltham here, that game is pretty much dead anyway. No more updates, not much of a player base. But yeah, anyway, the crazy thing about that whole thing is that Ubisoft went and took that down. So now we don't know. We don't know what's going on there. Sony once again keeping us in the dark when it comes to PlayStation VR, which is kind of <sighs> upsetting. I don't know. Do I want to say it's upsetting? It's annoying, really. Especially if you're covering VR on YouTube, kind of a pain in the arse, not knowing what's going on. But, having said that, it's the 3rd of November right now, we're going to find out soon enough. Nine days. Yeah, I think we're nine days out from PlayStation 5 releasing in North America and, well, most of the world. So we'll have our answers then as long as people get them camera adapters in time. So the next thing I want to talk about then also comes from Upload VR, uh, also from Jamie Feltham. And this is all about No Man's Sky. It's not a huge update. Uh, it's probably not going to make a difference to most of you watching but just in case for whatever reason if you don't already own no man's sky but you're planning on getting it for ps5 you can buy the ps5 version of that and it will support vr it will have that backwards compatible ps4 version so essentially they're, you're getting the ps4 version as well if you buy the ps5 version for no man's sky so you won't have to worry about which version you'll get if you want to have vr you can get the ps4 version which is already out now and you can get the PS5 version. And of course, if you already own the PS4 version, you're going to get the free upgrade to PS5. So it's all very, you know, it doesn't really matter which one you get, you'll be fine. So don't worry about that. That's just a small little update. Very consumer friendly stuff from Hello Games who are once again climbing that mountain of redemption. I think they're at the top at this stage. They're gone up beyond that now. 
they're at a stage now where we can just admire them at this stage, I think. Next up, let's talk about this job list in here for Sony London. And if you don't know already, Sony London Studio are responsible for the PlayStation VR Worlds game that included, you know, the London Heist, the Shark Tank, and they later released their own proper full AAA type game called Blood and Truth which was really good and enjoyed us here on the channel. I think most people enjoy that game. It'd be in a top 10 list for most people, I would say. So they're hiring and interestingly, they're hiring for a lead online programmer, which kind of hints that their next game is going to have online capabilities of some kind, not necessarily multiplayer, but some kind of online functionality and seeing as Sony London are, or at least have been in the past five years or so, tasked with producing games creating games just for virtual reality we might make the logical jump that these guys are working on a psv or 2 game for the ps5 and that it's going to have some kind of online functionality maybe multiplayer you know so it's pretty exciting i'll read the job listing here but it doesn't really say anything at all about virtual reality not that it would need to because you know it's an online programmer so whoever's programming the online functionality for virtual reality games doesn't necessarily need experience with virtual reality whatsoever they're just doing this back-end stuff which would be the same as you know flat games really but the big news i guess is that they're looking for a lead online programmer they're looking for someone who knows a little bit about networked physics and animation systems game logic matchmaking and session management among other that does sound like multiplayer if you ask me and then last but not least alvo beta codes are finally officially a thing they're here they're rolling them out now for North America, I should clarify, if you're in Europe, they're still waiting to get their hands on the codes for that. But North American people who have applied for basic codes, keep an eye on your emails or whatever methods they're using to send them out to people. I assume it's emails. And this just went live a couple of hours ago. So don't panic if you don't have it right now, they're still sorting out. Rolling that out. But today, if you're lucky enough to get accepted into that beta, then you're going to be playing Alvo, finally, after what feels like, I don't know, an eternity of waiting. So that's pretty exciting. And so that is it for this episode of PSVR News. Let me know what you think about, you know, all, like there was some good news here today. Alvo news, good news. I think it's good news to hear about Sony London hiring for online. That's pretty exciting. It's great to hear that No Man's Sky is being consumer friendly, letting you have the VR compatibility, even if you just buy the PS5 version. But this whole Sony being so kind of very cloak and daggery when it comes to PSVR, that, I mean, that's kind of what's dominating things right now for me. Uh, it's kind of hard to think about all this other stuff when all this is up in the air and we don't really know what's going on. It is looking like we're not going to get virtual reality games that are tapping into the PS5. That's kind of confirmed at this stage. But then, like, we see other strange things that maybe go against that. So, for example, the PS5 version of Hitman is advertising PS VR support in its features when we've been told we can only expect that via backwards compatibility. So, what's that about? That's a bit strange. So, there is a little bit of mixed messaging going on. I just want Sony to come out and put us black and white, make it clear as day. Uh, all these games these Hitmans, you know, um, Resident Evil 8, games like that, I want them to come out and say, hey, yes, this has virtual reality on PS5. No, it does not have virtual reality on PS5. Just say it one way or the other. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. We can have a little tasty chat about it, maybe. And with that, I will end this video. But before I do, let me thank my Patreon supporters whose names are on the screen as we speak. Thanks to their generosity. They're keeping this channel taken over. They're keeping things nice and moist. In particular, the top tier Patreon supporters, Chopped 517, Crumb, Tradition, Pete Hawkins, and Daniel the Pumpkin Patch Kid. Thank you very much for that generosity. It really is appreciated and it is helping me out big time. If you would like to help me out over on the Patreon, you can do so at patreon.com forward slash petrifying pumpkins. If not, if you don't want to spend your money, that's very understandable. I will be perfectly happy with a like, a comment. A share, subscribe, whatever, all that usual YouTube and shite, you know how it is, I gotta hustle, gotta feed them kids. Finally, let me thank Decepticon for letting me use his music in all of my videos. Thank you Decepticon, you can check him out over on Decepticon.com, link to that will be in the description, link to all this stuff will be in the description. And with that, I will end this video, thanks for watching lads and ladies, please stay moist.